It says current maximum cap of 20 created coach instead of intended 32, which obviously is important if you're trying to play an online dynasty. But that's the one that they said they were trying to fix today. And then they also talk about how people are starting up a dynasty and then trying to go back in at a later date and it won't let them load back into it. It says they're unable to load into a previously established online dynasty. And I think that's why they said those type of things were targeted for today. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the College Football 25 cheese. In today's video, I'm going to be going over uh, some information that was released yesterday, uh, potentially about the patch that was done this morning, as it does mention that they were targeting a Tuesday for some of these updates. Now, as far as all the issues they're going to mention here, a lot of them they say they're going to be working on in the future, but they also give some workarounds. So if you're having issues with any of the things that I read uh, off of this article, it also will give you some information on how to potentially fix them, which is going to be important until they fix it themselves. But at the end of the day, the majority of this stuff, it's not about necessarily gameplay. It's mostly about things like Dynasty mode, which I know is one of the most popular modes. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. They also talk about Team Builder and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. But before I do, if you guys want me to continue to do these videos, because I try to do uh, update videos for, uh, I've always done them for Madden, but I'm going to try to do them for College Football 25 as well. Please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go and get right into the video. Now, this is the second update that they put out. The first update, they didn't put out any patch notes so i don't expect them to put out any patch notes for this one necessarily either i don't know when they're going to start putting out patch notes maybe when they put out larger uh updates but it really just doesn't seem like they're too uh, concerned uh with doing that. i mean the game's only been out for about a week now and they already have two updates so i don't know if they just want to take the time to inform their audience i really don't know what the issue is but the article i'm reading you guys today is directly off of their website uh college football's website and it's also it was shared yesterday on the uh, CFB Direct Twitter account. So it's official. This isn't something that you know I, I got from a person who got from a person or something like that. But one of the bigger issues that they talk about is rosters and likenesses being a little bit off. That's always an issue. In Madden, um, when the game first comes out, you know, and, and it's going to be like that with this game as well. Rosters change, you know what I mean? And I, I used to do like a weekly update based off of roster changes and stuff like that um, because that just, this is what happens with football. Rosters are going to change. So that's something if you're, if you want to play a dynasty mode, or you want to start up a dynasty mode and you want to wait for like the season starting official rosters, which is typically how they do that. Uh, that's really up to you um, because that's obviously going to be something that's going to change throughout the year also. They also kind of confirm here that um, player ratings are going to change, which I know is something that was uh, somewhat um, up in the air. I don't know if they really confirmed that, but this article here confirms that, which we'll get to in a minute. Now, first off, I want to start off with presentation issues because that seems to be one of the bigger things that they're worried about as well. Uh, like, I said, like I already talked about, obviously, rosters and likenesses, but apparently there's some audio issues uh, that people are experiencing. Uh, if you're playing uh, your first game in, in Dynasty mode in Utah, at Utah, apparently the uh, commentary is incorrect. Now, it doesn't go into any further detail. I don't know how incorrect. Maybe they're talking about the wrong team or something like that, which would be totally weird. Uh, next up, we have Florida State uh, and, and Tennessee. Apparently, Florida State's uh, War Chant and Tennessee's Rocky Top are not available audio when playing on the Xbox Series S. So if you're playing on the X or you're playing on the PlayStation 5, this is not an issue you would notice. Next up, these are pretty big to me as, as a fan. Uh, if you're a fan of any of these teams, you should definitely be upset. And that's the logos. Apparently, the following team slash conference logos are incorrect. Stanford, UMass, Western Michigan, Jacksonville State, FIU, New Mexico, and the SEC Conference, which I don't know how you mess that up, uh, Conference USA, and the Sun Belt. How do you mess up something as simple as a logo? Um, so yeah, apparently that's something. I'm sure they fixed that in this patch. Like I said, a lot of this stuff, uh, they talk, they don't necessarily say it was supposed to come out in today's patch, other than the ones I'll get on, into in the future where they say they're trying to target Tuesday. Uh, but something as simple as a logo really shouldn't be that hard. Uh, UTEP and Wyoming are also displaying incorrect athletic branding on their equipment in Dynasty. And there's some sort of visual issue with conference patches when changing a small subset of teams in conference and Dynasty. So that one I don't really necessarily understand. But uh, like I said, get the logos right. That's not that, that's not too difficult. So now when it gets to Dynasty, apparently, and this kind of reminds me of, of last year's Madden where uh, like unrealistic free agents were getting the market, uh, where it was like 99 overall players were getting like like, uh, you know, to the free agency period and stuff like that, which was like kind of uh, totally ruining the experience. Apparently, the version for that in Dynasty is that uh, small schools are upsetting major power five schools. You know what I mean? Like, like straight up FCS schools 
are are apparently getting way more upsets than attended intended and that really ma- brings in the question i mean ea originally said when this game was coming out that if you're playing a one or a two star if you're playing as a one or a two star team and you're playing against like a four or five star team or you know player they specifically said like if you're if you have a bunch of one or two star players going against a bunch of four and five star players they said you would notice a major difference like it would just be night and day like there was no way those guys could compete that i think is total nonsense just yesterday i watched a video where a guy played with the worst team in the game versus the best team in the game. He played as Ball State versus Georgia. He almost won the first game and then he won the second game. Now, in, 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 the, in the reality that they tried to sculpt there, there should be no scenario where you should be able to beat those teams. So I can understand what they're saying. That idea that they put out there that, hey, if, you know, the star differences matter. It really doesn't appear to if people are knocking off uh, the best teams in the game, the tier one teams with like the worst teams in the game. And apparently in Dynasty mode, there's a lot of issues with, uh, you know, sim logic where, you know, that's just happening pretty regularly. Now, this one here, they don't say that they're patching right away. They said that they're looking into this. It says Super Sim Logic Tuning. The team is currently looking into tuning the Super Sim Logic, including FCS schools upsetting too many Power 5 schools. It says, note, as we continue internal testing, meaning they're just monitoring it at this point, as we, as we continue internal testing on tuning of Super Sim Logic, top 25 polls and the college football playoff series will also see an improvement. So that's something they're saying for a future date. Uh, that's not something that necessarily was in this, but it's still interesting information. Let me know in the comment section if you're playing in a dynasty mode and you're noticing that a lot uh, because I haven't actually started a dynasty mode yet. I'm really just working on uh, my eBooks and stuff like that. Haven't had a lot of time, but I do plan on getting into dynasty the second I finish my, my offensive eBook. Now it says issue when adding additional teams to the Pac-12 conference when using custom conferences does not generate a new conference schedule as intended. Now this is another one where they just give you a workaround. If you're having that issue, uh, it says there's a workaround around that after adding teams to the Pac-12, open conference rules and set divisions to on. Users will see that they can now set the number of conference games by toggling back and forth. Users can then disable divisions and edit other settings as desired. Now, like I said, there's a lot more issues in the game uh, than what they're currently working on, in my opinion, uh, especially when it comes to just direct gameplay, which, you know, to me really isn't that bad. It's very fun. There's just so much in this game. When you look at some of the issues that they're working on, they're really not that bad. Like, it's, like it's, it seems like a pretty polished game, in my opinion. Now, here's another one here. It says, issue with modified conference rules not saved. I've had an issue with nothing saving. I don't know if you guys are having this problem, but I try to save stuff in my settings, whether it's playbooks or whether it's um, my passing type, basic stuff like that. And then I go into a game and and it's reset. Am I the only one having that issue? Because they talk about it here. But this is more specifically, once again, uh, it's just it's just directed at Dynasty mode. But me personally, nothing I say I try to save in my settings is saved. I have to constantly change it all the time. So I mean, the same thing with um, you know, if I'm doing my audible plays in a game, they don't save. Sorry to go off on a tangent there, but they give you a workaround if you're having this issue. It says users can re-enter the conference rules screen to ensure their settings were saved and are valid. If they do not save, then the rules are not valid with their current setup. So they're suggesting that, you know, it, it's something that you're, you're, you're bending a rule, you're going against the rule of programming, I guess. Uh, this one's probably a little bit easier to fix and a little bit bigger. It says, occasionally when a recruit reaches their top five stage, it will not display the recruit is ready for a visit, despite meeting the requirements. Now it says, recruiting tuning. The team has planned additional tuning to recruiting logic. That's something that they probably could have put in this patch. But uh, it doesn't say, once again, because like I said, this was put out yesterday. Now, they also says, small chance of a freeze when simulating individual plays quickly after exiting the Super Sim. So if you're pushing in, the, I think it's the left stick, to go to Super Sim, uh, it can freeze when you're coming out of that. Now, it says a workaround for that. Just wait a couple seconds in between simulating the individual plays before exiting the Super Sim. Just take a little time. Don't be trying to Super Sim through something so quickly, and you shouldn't have the same issue. Now, here's another one. It says, issue with the practice tile not initially appearing on the team tab. Workaround, exit the mode, and then re-enter. So there's a lot of, you know, just refresh uh, options, it seems like, to try to... Um, to get it to fix so that's all it really is 
Here's one here that they said they were targeting for Tuesday. It says current maximum cap of 20 created coach instead of intended 32, which obviously is important if you're trying to play an online dynasty. A lot of people are trying to get their online dynasty mode up and running, and they want to have the same 32 that they had in Madden, which is typical of Madden. Now, it says that the team is targeting Tuesday for an issue that fixes uh, that limit of dynasty uh, to from 20 to 32. So they're trying to fix that. Like I said, that's the one that they said they were trying to fix today, like yesterday. You know what I mean? Like they're trying to fix that as soon as possible so people can join their online dynasty. That's pretty much the idea. Now it says issue with some players' jersey numbers slash uh, and or overalls changing when editing certain players' gear. So if you're trying to change how a player is, uh, their appearance, apparently it's changed uh, more than that. So jersey numbers and overalls obviously changing when you're just changing your shoes or something like that. It's pretty crazy. But that's something that uh, they're aware of and they're trying to work on as well. And then they also talk about how they have a high priority right now for fixing uh, these issues with Dynasty mode. One more specifically, apparently people are starting up a Dynasty and then trying to go back in at a later date and it won't let them load back into it. It says they're unable to load into a previously established online Dynasty, which once again, that's, that's one of the bigger things. Online Dynasty um, is gonna be a mode that they have to get right because so many people are buying this game for that. Uh, and apparently people are not able to get back into it. So that's that's a big deal. It says updates on this will be threaded to, on this post and the CFB Direct as we get them. So that's something that's definitely, um, you know, pre definitely a top priority for them. And I think that's why they said those type of things were targeted for today, for Tuesday. So hopefully they, they got that through and they got all that fixed. Now, there's a couple of small issues when it comes to Team Builder as well. It says when using a Team Builder team in play now, Cleats are defaulted to Adidas regardless of selected brand apparel. Uh, it says this does not impact team builder teams in Dynasty, but uh, that's something that they're they're aware of. It says the next one is second custom image layer not appearing on the field. Uh, it says work around, add a second layer, then select a generic image, and then reselect your custom image. So if you're using Team Builder, which I know is very popular, there's a couple of ways that you can get around that. Uh, but they don't actually talk about patching that. They really just give you um, some workarounds. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And if you want to see some tip videos that I made in the past, I'll have them popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out.